Welcome back YouTube viewers. I just wanted to give you a uh, brief uh, follow-up on planting uh, Java fern, the needle leaf Java fern. As you can see I've uh, divided the sections and placed them on this uh, piece of driftwood. Uh, they're in a tank uh, with some uh, young Ephesimian Australian chocolates. Uh, there's about 20 of them in here. So uh, I thought I'd put it in here because of the fact that <clears throat> Number one, it uh, I don't really uh, disturb this tank a lot, and then plus I don't have to do a lot of movement, so it'll be easy to uh, siphon the tank, and uh, the lighting is very low, and uh, it's just one of the more stable positions I have right now, considering uh, the situation my aquariums are in, so I decided to place it in here. I'm going to actually place this in uh, an upcoming tank, and... Uh, as I said, I just wanted to give you uh, guys an idea of how I start a uh, branch. I wanted the I want the complete uh, piece of driftwood to be covered in the uh, Java fern. So I'll give you follow-ups on how it's uh, progressing and so forth. So I want to thank you guys for viewing. The other thing I wanted to show you was the um, I have another piece that I actually found in uh, the bottom of a pile of. Um, gravel and uh, I've added it to another aquarium here. It is actually the Trident uh, version of Java Fern and this piece of driftwood I'm actually uh, training Java uh, moss on. So I've got it pretty much covered and I'm trimming the moss very closely but this little piece here, if you notice the lighter green portions, that's actually a trident um, java fern. And I found this in the bottom of a pail I had gravel in. It had been sitting there for a week. But if you notice, there is new growth on it. And I just wanted you guys to take a look, even if the, uh, I'll try to focus a little better in on it. Uh, even if, um, you know, you think it's dead, uh, this particular piece, I can't really get that close on it, so I'm going to back up a little bit so I can get it in focus. But um, even though you think this piece was just laying there in the gravel, and if you look very closely, you can see the green growth on it, the light green growth, and that's the new, um, new Java fern that's uh, coming out. That's a better picture of it. But you can see the new leaves that are sprouting from that algae covered uh, piece of uh, 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 plant that I found in the gravel. I did it as a fluke. I tied it on to the end of this driftwood since it, the, the java fern had, or moss hadn't uh, creeped up that far yet. So I tied it on the end and didn't thinking it would grow but I thought I'd take a chance. But as you can see there are new shoots coming out of it. So the resiliency of uh, java uh, fern is, is, is pretty remarkable and uh, as I said I'll give you guys a follow-up view of uh, this uh, particular piece of Java fern and uh, once again thanks for watching.